Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I can still say happy holidays to you. You know, you're at home watching this. Um, we're not complaining. We're here. We have to be here every day. And um, we thought we'd just pick up on something that we've um, treated uh, in the recent past. And uh, going over to uh, Benio Estate. Uh, at one time, with our friend Curtis Adiba and others, uh, we had looked at um, the ethnic tensions uh, that exist in Benue State. Uh, of course, you know, we'll, we'll come to it, but let me first of all introduce my guest. I'm delighted to have this time around um, Air Vice Marshal retired Monday Morgan, National Coordinator, uh, Benue Rebirth Movement. AVM, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, our pleasure. And um, we also will be joined uh, for this conversation uh, from our Abuja studios, um, architect Patrick Okura. Now, before I go further, let me just, so that we can just be getting it as we're going along, uh, Air Vice Marshal Retired Monday Morgan uh, is an Edoma. Now, they have a point of view. Um, they are, you know, agitating as it were, uh, for a power shift from Zone C, which is where you find uh, the Edomas generally, because in the 46 years, going on to the 47th of uh, statehood, of, of Benue, having, Benue State having been created, um, the report is that not one of them has become a governor. Uh, even other important offices, uh, somehow they are always counted out or they don't always make it. Yeah, it must be said that the numbers are what they are. Um, the Idoma, uh, the, the Tibs are the most populous people uh, over there. Uh, the sitting governor, Samuel Otom, is a Tiv. And um, having put that in that context, we'll go over it again as we, as we move ahead on the program. I was just going to say that we also have architect Patrick Ukura. Uh, now, architect Patrick Ukura is joining us from uh, Buja Studio. He's leader of the Tiv volunteer group for Zone C, um, for Zone C power shift, the power shift agitation. Now, catch this, architect Patrick Okura, um, he's actually, uh, uh, architect Okura, he's actually a, a, a TV, a, a TIV, I beg your pardon. I've just been told that it's not TV, it's TIV. Um, he is a TIV, but he sees it from the point of view of the Edoma. Uh, good morning to you, um, architect uh, Ukura. Thank you for joining us. And we'll also uh, see if we can include in this conversation um, Terence Kuonam. Terence Kuonam is president of Benue Youth Forum. He'll be joining us via Zoom. Now, it might be complicated, but it's not really going to be complicated by the time that the Air Vice Marshal retired Monday Morgan uh, sort of leads us uh, through it. Now, for those who don't know anything about the um, organizations, the, the ethnic uh, organizations up there, um, we can say that Benue State is comprised mainly of Tiv and Edoma, right? Yes. So uh, please tell me, sir, how, how did we sort of explain the divide to me, um, the historical background of how the Tivs have, from your point of view perhaps, always cornered all the offices of administration, all, whether it is speaker, whether it is commissioner, whether all of those things. How come that has happened? Why? Because it would look, without knowing very much about it, as if the Idoma have been locked out. But I can't imagine that that is the case. What exactly is going on? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to painstakingly take you to the historical uh, background to Benue. Mm -hmm. Benue state is made of two major ethnic groups, the Tivs and the Idumas. Now, historically, they are of different and distinct ancestry. The Idumas are of the Jukonite group. That is the Kwarafa Empire. Okay, and these are your people? Yes, my yes. people, mm -hmm. which includes Igede, Etulo, a group of Jukuns within Zone A and B, mm -hmm. and the okay. Yinfos. Okay. 
and, uh, the, 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 the and just to be following you, yes. uh, 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 Benue is divided into A, B, and C. C yes, yeah. but then the people of the Kwarafa groupings find themselves in either zone A, B, and C. Majorly in zone C, which includes the Idomas and Igede. Okay. okay. Now, the reason why we, the statement, Retired generals who are apolitical but have political interests mm -hmm. came up to this is that when crises come up from mismanagement of a group, one of the major problems is the suffering of the defenseless people. And generals, like you know, have been part of nation building globally. So the Benue Rebirth Movement is essentially is a kind of intervention uh, pressure group to so say, no, all is not well. We should be able to grow out of ethnic sentiment and come up with a policy where seamlessly power shifts even to the smallest group. Okay. We expect that if our strategy works, we should one of these days in the rotational system see an Etuloma be governor. Okay. We should one of these and days... And an Etuloma is not necessarily the biggest of the... Exactly. Uh, the people. One of the smallest. And even a Jukun man who seems to be isolated just like all the other smaller tribes who emerge to be speaker in Benue State mm -hmm. or to um, any of the tribes. Mm -hmm. So essentially... What we are guarding against is the tribalization of politics in Benue. That is what... And the marginalization, and the marginalization of, uh, of Zone C. Zone C. Because if we solve that equation, it means that most of the issues of tribe mm -hmm. could have been pushed out of the system. We have lived together for over 200 years. And I believe that time has come that there could have been social integration that must have led to a solid relationship. Because I'm sure these people from these zones, yeah. uh, even though you explained to me that uh, Idoma are also existent in groups A and B, yeah. but they are majorly in group C, yes. I'm sure there would have been intermarriages and interactions. A lot. And this is what I, w in, the, in my first appearance in Chinese television, I say to everybody in this country, that why is BRM crying for this? Because we have done a lot of appeasement, appealing to the conscience of our brothers. We have tried to talk to them and say, look, let's unite. I have colleagues from the TIF site, generous, retired generous, and we discuss, and they understand my position. If there is any area that we, uh, there is this general complaint by the TIF people that Idomas capture the federal system in appointments and things like that. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they will hold tight to, to, to the Benue, to uh, the home, uh, to to, their to home the front. Now, I said, if there was a very unique way we have integrated over time, it would be very s simple. If the Idomas have a magic wand in the federal system, <laughs> then together that wand could have been turned into a collective pool of responsibility and development. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll come back to you, but let me now... Uh, check out um, architect Patrick Ukura, uh, leader of TIV Volunteer Group for Zone C. And as your organization describes it very well, you are a TV. Now, your group is the TIV Volunteer Group for Zone C. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, you see it from their point of view. Could you, could you explain that, please? Yeah, thank you so much. My name is Ukura Patrick. I am a Nigerian from Benue State, from Taka local government. 
The right name for my group is Benue Volunteers, not Steve. The right name for our group is Benue Volunteers for Zone C, not T Volunteers um, for Architect Zone C. Patrick, Architect Patrick, could you, could yes. you look up, please? You're looking you, down. Uh, we I, need to, we want to see you. you. Aha. It's okay. Please. Are, are you with me now? Yes, yes, yes. The right, yes, the right name for our group is Benue Volunteers for Zone C, not T. Not T. Are we together? Oh, okay. I, I, I get you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Thank the you. The name is Benue Volunteers for Zone C. Not T. Benue volunteers for Zone volunteers C. For zone not T. Twenty twenty three. I, I get you. Yes. I get you. Correction yes. noted. But, uh, no. So back to the points. As rest. Are we together? Yes. 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 Please continue. Uh, by twenty fifteen, when the governorship of Benue was given to. Honorable Samuel Otom, at the inauguration, some of us felt concerned that since John A, John B has had this position over time, it will be right and proper, and as a principle of an ethnic nationality known as Steve, should consider that the position goes to John C. It was far back as 2015. And since 2015, we've been working on this day and night. We have been consulting with a lot of elders in the state. Our interest was hinged on the need for equitable representation in the state, as well as the federal appointments and even at the local government. This was informed from the fact that injustice, inequality, oppression, suppression, intimidation, and what I call dualism has been the reason for crisis in the country and particularly in our state Benue. When we found out that this was the crux of the crisis in the state, we as a group decided that we shall take the case headlong and try to find a solution to this. That is why we started this project. We are not discussing ethnic nationalities or ethnic politics in Benue. We are saying that Nigerian as a country has taught it wise to accept zoning as it's enshrined in the constitution of this country by what we call federal character. This has been practiced over time. And if federal character was so considered to be important for sharing of government positions, we should also ensure that it is done in our state. And in this case, in Benue, we have zone A, we have zone B, and we have zone C. It is important, and I say very essential, that since zone A has had the position of the governor of Benue State the man on Zoom, the man on for the Zoom. past 20, 30 years for two terms or two persons, zone B also has had it for this time, it will be right and proper that the position be zoned to zone C. And in fact, in our considerations, we're feeling and are saying that zone C should be given an option of first refusal. This will show commitment. This will be encouraged. This should be encouraged. This will help reduce the perceived tension and marginalization as acclaimed by so many other groups in the state, including the thieves. The people who are known to be equitable in sharing of assets and responsibilities and even liabilities know that if you are to share any good or even a bad thing with a brother, the brother should be given equal 
opportunity as you. And if we ask any kid man, he will tell you that if you are to share any asset, somebody who is not present at the time of sharing is usually considered first. So if we three people have agreed that this is a practice within ourselves, we should bring that to bear on the position of also of the governor of the state. We are talking, we are talking to so many elders and the information we are getting is very sweet and interesting. And as I speak to you now, if you do a survey in Benue of perhaps a hundred T persons, a hundred uh, IJD persons, a hundred Idoma persons, and any other tribe that you find within Benue, majority of the people, and you're asking this question, majority of the people will give you a positive answer that it will be right and proper that this governorship position should be zone to zone C and should be encouraged. All the people in zone A and zone B should encourage zone C to produce candidates are credible so that the position of the governor will go to zone C. This is what we've been preaching. This is what we've been talking about. This is what we've been consulting. This is what we've been doing on television, on radio, on the print media. I want to also correct the impression as earlier said, by my other participant, that most positions are not given to zone C. I beg to disagree because over time now, zone C has been able to produce the deputy governor. And we know that there has not been an open confrontation between the governor of the state from the state speaking area with the zone C person. By political talk and sentiment, they say zone C is a spare tire. The position they give them is spare tire. We are seeing that considering the dysfunctional system in the state at the moment, it will be right that we should use the spare tire now. The spare tire that we should use should be a spare tire that is worthy, that will take us home. John C is right to produce the governor of Benue 2023. It is the time we are urging all those who are concerned good spirited individuals in Benue, the kingmakers, the political leaders, to see reason this is our desire and let it come to fruition. Oh, it is not confrontational. Okay. Architect, Architect Patrick, uh, okay, I hear you. Yes. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to come back to, because, um, and thank you also for the uh, correction you made that it is the Benue, Benue Ruben. Volunteer Ruben. Group for Zone C. Uh, it just yes. so happens that you are, you are a TIV, but the grouping is Benue uh, Group for Zone C. Okay, and now, yes. AVM, you, you, you heard that um, he would like to disagree that it's not as if it's been that bad. There, there's still much to be done, but he is saying it's not as pathetic as one might have been led to believe, that there have been some notable offices that uh, have been occupied by uh, Idomas. Yes, uh, you're correct. Um, what he has alluded to is that the deputy governorship had been conspicuously mm -hmm. been allocated to Idomas. Okay, okay. So conspicuously. It's, it's like, it, it almost, so are, almost like are, exclusively. Exactly. So that's the highest you can aspire exactly. to. Exactly. And this is what Benue Rebed movement says no, allow somebody from Zone C to superintend over the affairs of Benue. Because look at it carefully. The Benue Zone C are men of character. There has never been an occasion where there was an altercation between the governor and the deputy ever. From Oglia Jene to Chief uh, uh, Lawani to now Benson Abono, they all s stayed with their governors for eight solid years. What does that depict? It's a replication and it, it depicts loyalty, 100% loyalty. And when you talk about competency, 
most of the zone C extractions that have been given federal positions mm -hmm. have served tremendously. And we say, if such resourcefulness is within that environment, why do you deny? Why can't it? Why can't you be brought to the benefit? Yeah, exactly. Of bring the home it to front. bear to bring to the home front. Let's try somebody. And we are not shooting. We are appealing. We are appeasing. We say, please give us a chance. Let demography not be a problem. You see, what happens and where I become very agitated mm. is that in a recent clip that was shown in Nigeria, my executive governor was given the reason why a zone C person couldn't be governor because if he did that, he was going to lose an election. That he would not be able to garner support from the Thief brothers. So what they did was that the, uh, the chairman of the PDP, that is Senator uh, uh, Ayu, uh, and himself went back to the root to bring up and declare that this is a thief rep to contest election with his own C person. And this is where we say no. Don't tribalize the issue because we have gone beyond tribe. The generation that we are today, the children don't understand mm -hmm. tribes. Mm -hmm. And this is why are we fighting? We have spent our time, but we want our children's children, the future of them to be better. Let them come into an environment devoid of tribal sentiment. Okay, so okay. It, 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 you, you found it a bit distressing when distressing. the governor explained that um, the reason why it can't go to yes, Roma yes. is that they wouldn't be able to pull it off. Exactly. Which because is, they wouldn't be able to get the support of the oh, TV exactly. who are in the majority. Exactly, which is wrong. Meanwhile, when we, the first time we went to see uh, Dr. Ayu, before he became uh, a PDP chairman, he was sympathetic to the uh, issues of Zonsei. And he gave us a promise that we had a good case and that we should push for it. He advised us on all the levels of, of consultations and advocacy that we should carry out, which we did effectively. The governor is aware. Okay? Now, all of a sudden, he became PDP chairman by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. We went back to him and he promised us that he is now in a new shoe that he will not interfere in the politics of Benue State. But to our surprise, the chief candidate that they sprang up was part of his own engineering with the governor and Suswan. That means the tribal issue is still uppermost in their mind. Mm. And we are saying that any action that any politician takes today in Benue, posterity will judge all of us. Because I, as a, a general, unfortunately, my governor recognizes and makes statement that generals are like corporals in the political field. <laughs> <laughs> and then that, that is unfortunate because... <laughs> no, I'm sure he wasn't, that, he, he wasn't with a straight face. No, he was just annoyed and, and said okay. such a thing. Okay. However, he had, he had forgotten that generals make nations. And that to be a politician is easy to be a politician. But it is very difficult mm -hmm. to make a general. Indeed. Okay. So, uh, now, I also said that we'll be able to talk with um, Terence uh, Kwanum, uh, who is president of the uh, Benue... Uh, youth Forum. Um, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for joining us, Terence, if we are connected yet. Um, Terence is joining us via Zoom. Uh, Terence, good morning. Yeah, I'm here. Good morning, sir. Okay, then. You, aha. Okay, e excellent. Yeah. Well, same to you. <laughs> same to you. Now, um, I have, uh, I've been speaking with um, Air Vice Marshal uh, Retired Monday Morgan, as well as architect Patrick Ukura. Uh, he's the leader of the Benue Volunteer Group for Zone C 
Now, we've been hearing how uh, the representation of the Domas, you know, have let us know that uh, things have not been rosy as co-equals in the state in the past 46 years or so. And that, as you just heard the general say, uh, the, your governor himself, Excellency uh, Samuel Autumn, has put out a statement saying that, um, well, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't be fr a fruitful exercise uh, to have a candidate of Idoma extraction because they wouldn't be able to pull it off. They simply wouldn't be able to get um, the um, thieves to, in a sufficient number to vote for them. Um, as to the allegation of marginalization of the Doma people, uh, what is your perspective? How do you see it? Well, uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, it is, there is no issue of marginalization, really. Uh, uh, we have an issue where uh, the voting population of Benue uh, have been divided into 72% uh, for the zone A and B and 28% for the zone C. And now in a democracy where you find yourself in that kind of situation, what you do is to negotiate for power to be able to go to you because you cannot match uh, the other side with the numbers. And so when the Benue Revan movement uh, the architect Morgan, uh, ABM Morgan was leading, uh, who is another state man himself, came up. Uh, we were impressed because we felt that uh, the Zone C people are truly ready for power to shift to them because he has the experience and he has the capacity to be able to negotiate uh, with the Zone A and B for them to be able to see power to, to Zone C. Uh, but the, the recent outings that uh, they have embarked upon uh, has been so disappointing, disappointing to the people of Benue, and most especially to the people of Zone A and C, because uh, there are issues. The issues to agitate uh, were not only left with the people of Zone C. Uh, uh, the issue of power moving to the Benue South was an issue of trust, uh, because we have had situations where uh, the Zone C people have been able to hijack everything that comes to Benue uh, from the federal level. Uh, without any recourse to them, uh, knowing that they have brothers in zone A and B. Uh, we have situation in Benue where when he was still in service, as a service uh, general, he was able to influence a, uh, uh, admission of, uh, of his brothers from the zone C on even team local government. But we have always taken that because we are the same brothers. Nobody has ever complained. And now, so when he came out to head a committee himself to be able to negotiate power, we felt that he had the capacity to be able to move around the state and he still, he still trust in the people of zone A, A and D. But what he has considered in doing is that he was able to meet with some elites and they, they, they have been plotting against zone A and D together. And then in recent times, has been expressing a lot of arrogance and, and trying to blackmail the two people uh, in the issue of power shift. He is leading the Benue Rebound movement for Zone C. He has not been able to hold any meeting, to be able to seat the senatorial seat that they have been occupying without uh, the EGD people for 46 years, the way he's saying about the T people. So what yeah. is happening now is just an expression of arrogance and blackmail on the T people rather than negotiating power over a people that have a voting population of 72%. The 28% they have in Zone C. They share 60 40 with the AKB. So, what he needed to do, he has failed to do it. But rather than go to the drawing table to be able to re strategize, what he's doing now, we see it as an arrogance against the chief people. And it's quite sad because it's not going okay. to eat any uh, uh, food uh, uh. because if you don't convince an average chief person of dominance, and let me give you in the process of this dominant revival movement, they brought an institution, a federal institution of Fremia University of Health in Zone C. In the process of recruiting uh, staff in that university, a team man was all qualified to be a security man in a university that was established in Benue. They had admission in that institution. Out of 362 students that have been admitted, they gave only two slots to the team people. One even came to a supplementary list. How can you sure. expect the 78% to all trust right. you, you know what? with that kind of uh, attitude? So the challenge here is the issue of trust. Terrence, and this is a democracy. The democracy is a game of number. How have you been able to convince 
Mm. These other people to be able to trust you with their vote. Yeah, I know the vote. Uh, uh, all right, then. You know what? Uh, Terence, uh, I'm going to... Um, uh, architect uh, Okura will want to do a rejoinder, as I'm certainly sure yes. that... Um, the AVM uh, will also want to do one. Now, we just heard uh, a quite challenging uh, um, you know, contribution by Terence uh, Kuanam, uh, president of uh, Benue Youth Forum, he says. And um, he explained um, that, look, Benue is divided up into zones A, B, and C. Between the A and the B, they make up 72%. Uh, and therefore, there's 28% left for Zone C that is comprised mainly of the Edomas. And um, that being the case, the Edomas really need to negotiate power. And he accused um, the Edoma elite of being uh, a bit um, uh, arrogant. Uh, so uh, I, uh, let me bring that point to you, uh, that perspective to you, architect Patrick Ukura. Uh, you are leader of the Benue Volunteer Group for Zone C Power Shift. How do you react to Mr. Terence Kuanam's um, uh, presentation? Yes, I want to first of all respond to what the Honorable AVM, retired general, spoke before I go to Kuanam. Okay. I want to say on behalf of majority of the T people that the governor has little to do on who becomes the governor of Benin State. Little. And as he was speaking, he was not speaking on behalf of T people, I assure you, even though he's the governor of Benin State. The T people are known for people who are not oppressive, are known for not to be suppressive. We do not intimidate people. So if the governor chose to go on air, to state very clearly that Zone C cannot be given the governor of Benin State. He had said that at the same evolution, not at the interest of the team, neither he's a kingmaker in team land. He's not, the governor is not. I'm saying that emphatically, and I'm very serious about it. I'm telling you here today that the governor was given the position of the governor because people agreed to give him. We, we, shall, we shall as well give governor in Benin State Okay. When the time okay. comes, and we're on it. All right. All right. Let Having me say that, that, I want to oh. go back to Quanum to respond okay. to what Quanum said. Oh, okay. Carry on, please. As a team man who has experienced what a team man stands for, I am saying here emphatically that whoever is saying that John C cannot have a governor in Benue. It's not, he's not talking at the point of a thief man. He's talking at the point of himself and himself and himself. Because thieves are known with a genuine style of leadership. And the thing has been coined in English or in thief as Yatnan chop and give brother. This practice is long before now. And that, we can proudly say, has been copied by the federal government. That is where the federal character came about. If T people choose now to give governor to Zone C, we are not doing that because of their intellectual capacity. We're not doing that because of their morals only. No. We are doing that to Zone C now, because we all know that rightly it is their turn. And okay. that, that, if I people mean, feel excellent, thank if you people very feel much. That architect, the position architect of governor Patrick, has a lot of legends. Uh, sorry, so, sorry for interrupting you, but thank you very much. Uh, that place you um, sort of landed it. That if indeed it happens uh, that um, the Idoma, you know you know, are given that slot, uh, to contest for that slot. It's not out of uh, any, anything but uh, the fact that it is the right thing to do. Uh, let, so let me now bring it back to uh, the uh, general, um, AVM retired Monday Morgan. Um, but before that, 
Could I just take, I think Mazi Okorafo has called in. So let me take a call in, yeah. and then I'll come to you so that you could react to the charge of arrogancy uh, that was leveled by the president of the Benue Youth Movement, Terence Kuanam. Uh, good morning, Mazi Okorafo. Or has Mazi Okorafo left? Um, is Mazi Okorafo still on the line? Okay, so, General, coming, coming back from the Okay. You know, some serious allegations there. Uh, something about uh, with the 28%, which I'm, I'm, I'm curious to find out where that favor came from. Uh, 72, 28, 72 between the first two zones, A and B, and then 28 for the uh, Edoma. Uh, that you should really, uh, arrogancy was the way he put it, and that it should be more of a negotiating uh, process. Um, you see, I'm highly surprised about what Terence has to say. He is talking on the position of the power that is in the government house right now. And it's, it's a clear demonstration of the ugly perspective of power that the mindset of the governor. Thank God. Architect. Uh, uh, but, but we haven't yes. heard from the governor. No, 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 uh, because and, uh, he is a spokesman. Okay, he, so the, the, that, that yeah. he is. He, he is, is a is, spokesman. He is because a, he even is the, a governmental spokesman. He, he, even the, 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 the so-called platform he says he is president of. Is an ad hoc, forum. It's an ad hoc because when I gathered all the youth in Boko last year at the gravesite of J.S. Taka, where was he? When I visited the, the Tortif, Last year, where was he? When I had interface with the Uzo Tif, where was this guy? We have a section of the Benue youth head by a president who will be talking in a few weeks' time, in a few days' time. Okay. So that we can dismember this his theory. The theory that people have not heard about Benue Rebirth Movement. How did he hear about it? And secondly, one of the things that he should realize is that he should be very, very truthful to himself, even so he represents the status quo. Okay. 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 Um, uh, I was saying that Mazi was on the line. I don't know. We, 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 we greeted, but we didn't get a response. So Mazi Okorafo, I don't know if you're still there or not. Oh, well, uh, uh, we think he has gone. Okay. Uh, therefore, um, uh, Terence, good morning again. Um, would you like to do a rejoinder then? Uh, because you've just heard the uh, ABM say that um, he frankly is unaware of your grouping and has said more so uh, you are probably, you know, uh, stating the view of your principal, uh, His Excellency, the Governor of uh, Benue State, Samuel Autumn. How would you respond? How did he hear about it? And secondly, one of the things that he will realize is be very, very truthful to himself, giving him so few percent the status quo. I think okay. that's a delay of a few uh, seconds ago. Um I, I don't know, can you hear me, Terence? Uh, I can hear you. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I, I wanted you to respond. Uh, first of all, the ABM has just said that he's unaware of uh, your grouping uh, because at key events, your grouping, neither your grouping or yourself have been present. And, um, you know, this whole matter of the figure of 72% to 28%, uh, he, he's, he doesn't know where that came from. Uh, but go ahead, please. What would be your, re your reaction? Well, uh, what the, the ABM has just... Uh, confirm uh, what I say that he has failed the Benway Zone City people uh, for allowing him to lead an organization of that magnitude because if Avian Morgan, who has personally interacted with me at several forums, has come on air to say that he is not aware that Benway Youth Forum exists, an organization that has been in place 
uh, for a very long time, and I have made very fundamental presentations about the interest of Benway, is going today uh, to claim that there is no existence because he went to, to Boko and was able to uh, cajole some persons that were uh, in, in the kind of movement uh, that he's doing uh, without having a broad-based consultation uh, with the people of Benway uh, so that he can be able to get power for his people. It's quite disappointment, but where is the confirmation that he never did his homework properly? And I don't speak for the governor of Benway State. I'm not appointee of the government. I represent the youth of Benway, and I'm recognized everywhere, and I'm recognizing Benway youth yeah, at the level of the Yeah, Benway, sorry, I, and I, I thought the you were... Benway, Benway youth. And so, uh, Terence, not forgive me for interrupting you. I'm sorry to interrupt, Terence, but I, I did have the understanding that you work quite closely with Government House in Benway. I respond to my allegations that they refuse to negotiate for power for Zone C. Uh, the position of Akito Ikura is so funny because uh, you cannot take the tradition of the two people and be extending it across the country uh, 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 just because you are doing the movement uh, of survivor. Uh, and uh, the threat uh, of his position is coming from where uh, we have severely had uh, betrayers for the people of Benway State. You know, he comes from the same place where a particular leader is consistently betraying the two people on the invasion of the state. And so for him to be able to join forces on other issues of betrayal for the two people, uh, uh, it's not surprising to, to most of us. Uh, but it's quite disappointing that Adrian Mugan will be uh, trying to express some sentiment just because he wants to achieve what he wants. There's okay no then, Terence. Well, one, one second, please, Terence. I, I, forgive me, I've got to interrupt you, Terence, because I, I've kept a caller, um, a, a viewer, uh, waiting. Uh, good morning, Mr. George. Go ahead, please. Oh, dear. Mr. George? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, okay. Um, uh, the, the technical uh, things today are not as um, seamless as they have been on other days. Uh, uh, but, but then again, um, architect Patrick Okura, uh, you, you've heard him. Uh, AVM, uh, you've also uh, heard him. I, I wanted him, but I also interrupted him, it must be said. I wanted him to sort of um, e explain where that 72%, um, 28% uh, uh, distribution came from. Uh, did he make it up or was it as a result of some studies? Definitely, it's a wishy-washy data presentation. Where did he get it from? And, and he said that the... Uh, he said Does that he, he have a... He, uh, he said that the Benue Youth Forum has been in existence for quite a while. He is not And truthful. that um, it's a form of attack for you to say it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist because I don't know him. If I know him, I know all the uh, Benue Youth Forum that I have interacted with. And if I have met him probably uh, while working, uh, 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 discussing or working with the governor, mm -hmm. It does not mean that he represents anybody. Okay. I know him facially, but he does not represent any grouping. And um, one thing I just want to say here is that architect Patrick mm -hmm. has never been compromised. In fact, by the time the intention of Benue Rebel Movement was to unite all the Benue people, whatever tribe, whatever union you are, both uh, the, 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 uh, the female gender, the male, and the youth. So the Benue volunteer group approached us okay. that they have set up and they have been working for Zone C governorship extraction. Okay. Okay. So that's there was the, never the, a time. That's the Benue volunteer group, group for yes. Zone C and, and power when, shift. And when they came, because I'm of the uh, uh, intelligence, I was suspicious originally. But after some time when we were invited to their fold and they gave us lavish uh, entertainment, we now fell at home that, yes, these guys are genuine. Okay, okay. And ever since then, he has constantly, he has not received any money from us in form of, say, I want to do an event. Mm -hmm. Rather... When we do our events, they come in a colorful mood okay. to support us. Uh, now, now, I understand that, Mr. George, um, uh, Architect uh, Ukura, uh, I'll come to you too, but Mr. George, uh, I understand you're still on the line. Good morning. 
there is an issue. Because if Mr. George has stayed on the line all that while, we've been trying to make contact with you, and it hasn't been working. Uh, Mr. George, Mr. George from Ikeja. Okay, uh, architect Ukura, uh, would you like to add to, you know, uh, what the general has said? Because um, uh, I guess uh, Mr. Terence Kuanam, you know, his presentation, there might be aspects of it you wanted to react to. <laughs> okay, it's going to be like that. Huh? Okay, I'm waiting for maybe yeah. delay. My uh, thank you so that. much. Yes. I think uh, before I respond uh, directly on what Kwanu said and the general said, I want to make a point very clear. Benue State's political atmosphere has gone beyond this child talk on the television. Mm -hmm. Benue has been known as a, it's, as a engine room Nigerian politics right from the point of Taka. So if we bring ourselves to be discussing Chinese talk on the television, it's, un it's, it's unfortunate. I am saying that Benue political sharing formula is due for Zone C, and that is known by generality of Benue people. We are not just talking of Thief as a person, or as a group, or ethnic uh, nationality. We are thieves across several states in Nigeria. But if we are discussing Benue as Benue state, then we should try to exclude the name Tiv particularly. Because are we discussing Tiv in Taraba, Tiv in Nasarawa, Tiv in Kwara, Tiv in Kogi, and all over the country? No. We are discussing Benue politics as it relates to the governor 2023. How it has been shared over the years is that John uh, A has had this position. John B has had this position. No once. So as a team man from, John, from Benue, we are saying that the team man who is known for his magnanimity, fair sharing, fair contribution, should do this thing to John C. And John C should be given an option of first refusal. That is what we are known for. All this other talk about this and that is unnecessary on the television. All right. I am okay. telling you without missing words that the Benue people, be it Thief, be it Itilo, be it Gede, be it whoever, who agree with you at first discussion that it is right that this position should go to John C. Okay. I don't know where they would have. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, thank you, architect. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I beg your pardon. I've got, I got to come in. Um, uh, I want to take it back to Terence. Terence Kuanam, um, President Benue Youth Forum, um, which, as you have heard, you know, the ABM has said, we, we haven't really interacted. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Because um, the architect has just said now that um, he thinks it's unfortunate that um, extraneous matters to the issue of... Um, uh, in-house, uh, uh, home front Benue politics and the marginalization uh, of the Idoma people, that's one thing that is, that is different from, you know, uh, having uh, uh, people, chief people in other areas of the country. That is not the issue. Uh, how would you respond? It's about fairness at home. The, the issue is not about the three people in other states were discussing the governorship of Benue. And if the ABM and the architect does not know the voting populations of Benue, let me enlighten them a bit. The zone A voting population of Benue is over 1.5 million. The zone B voting population of Benue is 900,000, the same with the zone C voting population. And now, when you put that in percentage, the A and B are 72, the C has 28. And if architect Ukura is discussing 2023 Benue election, have he been able to use his group to be able to tell the Domas to see the Senate seat they have occupied for, for the six years to the get it? Why is it <laughs> oh, about the Benue domination? That... And why is okay. it so difficult for them to come to the round table and negotiate? And okay, and you know, you, you've said that, this and you've gone there again, and we have run out of time, so I can't take uh, that elaboration of that particular that point. So sorry about this, this. We and I want to give the last shot now to the AVM. I beg your pardon. Um, so, AVM, 
I wanted you to also come in on this matter because you, 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 you've, you've heard him. He says he's, uh, Terence is sticking to his guns. That, uh, it's a matter for negotiation. And he also added in there that uh, the arrogancy of the uh, Idoma people is uh, uh, a worry to him. Unfortunately, the Idomas are not known to be arrogant people. If we are a group of people that are very arrogant, you can't marginalize a nation for 46 years and have peace. That is the truth. Okay. We have been a very patient group of people. So you rebut that aspect of yes. this statement. Yes. So, so the way forward now, yeah. from your perspective, yes. is what? Uh, a a reapprochement yes. and so that people re-examine the position of Zone C yeah. being cut out entirely. My advice. Mm -hmm is to the governor of Benue State. Okay, Samuel Otom. Let him go back to his drawing board. If he is, is a Christian that he prefers a lot, let him know that power is in his hand and a few people elites in Benue. And they can rejig the formula. Present a credible candidate and they give him all the fuel and the support. Okay. Because it's the, Mop up. Because it's the only fair thing to do. Exactly. Because in 46, going exactly. on to 47 years. It's the only fair thing. Of, of the Mobilize entity. all the forces in zone A and B behind the zone C candidate. So that, that and then the, push him. That would be the moral thing to do. That is it. E even though, as you know, General, yeah. I'm not saying anything new. Morals and politics don't always mix. But if you are a Christian, morality should stand tall. Okay. Indeed. In terms of politics. Indeed. And uh, I think that's a fine place to leave it. So I want to thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, architect uh, Patrick Ukura, uh, thank you very much for making time for us. Uh, Mr. Terence Kuanam, uh, thank you very much, sir, for making time for us today as well. And uh, certainly not the least. Uh, uh, Vice thank you, thank you, thank you. Indeed. Uh, Air Vice Marshal uh, retired Monday uh, Morgan. Thank you very much, sir, Thank for you very coming much along to have and me. helping us to understand a bit about the, uh, understand the tensions and the dynamics of uh, uh, tensions, uh, the zonal, if not ethnic tensions uh, within Benway State. So that's our program today. So sorry to our viewers that wanted to contribute, as they always do, uh, Mr. George Mazi Okura, for perhaps some others. Um, we don't know what happened, but it'll be better tomorrow. Touch wood. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now.